Forensic expert has shown that 70% of Nigeria's budget is lost to corruption. Thank you very much for joining us. This is still Serious Matters on ONF TV. My name is Olukunle Abraham. The Chartered Institute of Foreign uh, Forensic and Investigative Professional of Nigeria, CIFIPN, says 70 to 70% 70 of Nigeria's national budget is lost to corruption practices at all levels of governance in the country. There is no doubt that corruption has eaten deep into our system. And what we are looking for now is how to get corruption out of our system. Look at nations like Dubai, who came long after us. Look at where they are. If a desert can become what Dubai is today, where our first lady spends majority of the year of her time, You can't even stay in your own country and enjoy yourself. We now go to nations where they've been able to manage their system properly. Corruption has not eaten into them. Even if it has, they still have a sense of, a, a, a human sense in them. A sense of development, a sense of growth. A futuristic sense. That if it is good, it's for us. If it is not good, then it's not, it's not good for us. CIFIPN President Dr. Nape Victoria Ayushetu said this at a press briefing in Abuja on, um, on Sunday. Um, she said the loopholes would continue if the right mechanisms and cogent interventionist uh, measures were not put in place to check the trend. Uh, she noted that brilliant budget ideas hardly translate to the actual implementation of the, I mean, government's laudable uh, expedition framework. Because you find out that when you look at the budget, it's brilliant. It's good. They've done a very good job, but the implementation, we don't see results. We don't see results. She said she attributed this to well-orchestrated system and endemic monumental corruption of the highest proportion. We practice the highest proportion of, 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 uh, of, of corruption. She said the larger chunk of Nigerian resources always end up as products of fraud, corruption, and cybercrime. This is a travesty of rational realism as the country cannot justify how the huge sum we see every year in the national budget are not often matched with the commensurate measure of realistic budget performance. We don't see the reality of it. We don't see what happens eventually. We don't see what commensurates with what was asked from us as, you know, taken from us as a budget. It's, it's, it's so unfortunate, the kind of country that we find ourselves. She said fraud, corruption, cybercrime thrive in Nigeria owing to a lack of investigation and prosecution of the crime. The judiciary is weak, weakened. Very, very weakened. Somebody has been... Prosecuted, somebody is being charged to court, somebody is being, uh, is being um, a judgment is given, and somebody, because of your position, you, you give excuses, you don't obey the judiciary, it weakens the judiciary. It weakens the judiciary, and nobody is talking, nobody is saying something. The Nigeria Bar Association are trying their best. They are trying their best. And that's why clauses like this immunity clause has to be taken out of our constitution. What immunity clause? What makes a leader different from the people he's leading? Huh? She urged President Muhammad Ubuari to sign the Chartered Institute of Forensic and Investigative Professional Bill 2021. According to our forensic investigation is vital for the restoration of the nation's economy and the fight against fraud, corruption, and cybercrime. I feel well, that's, that's if they are not infiltrated too, eventually. That's if the bad trend does not go in through those places too. 
We feel money is everything. We feel, we feel once you have money, you have everything. Is everything money now in, in Ukraine? Is everything money in Russia? Some people keep money underground. Keep money in their ceiling. In soccer ways. What belongs to a whole nation? Rather unfortunate. Please do drop your comments on this particular video. Share your opinions with us. And please do share the video with others. It's sad. It's saddening that, that, that beautifully planned budgets do not, does not translate into beautiful, beautiful results. We don't see where the money goes to. Trillions of naira going every year. It's nothing to write home about. Oh, you say you build this thing, you build that thing. Can you tell us how much it costs to build the things that you built? With all the security vote and all the whatever, whatever, police are, are still not getting be paid very well. The people are supposed to be securing us. Soldiers are not being taken care of very well. We still do not have good, good weapons, guns. Yes, the aircrafts, that's okay. But what about the guns? What about the land soldiers? What about arming them properly? And every year, billions of naira go. I'll leave the rest on the table for you to comment Please do go ahead and do that. Uh, make, your, make your comments simple and uh, simple. Thank you. Bye-bye.